Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here for part 4 of Let's Play Battleship on the PS3. Last time we finished off the second mission and started the third one. This time we'll finish the third mission, and we encounter a new enemy type here. It's about time. I guess we had the Rapsterones in the last one, so that was kind of a new enemy. This is the Thug. He is by far the most annoying overall enemy in the game. Because he does a lot of damage to you if he manages to hit you. He'll kill you in just a few hits, especially on the higher difficulties. But the shotgun to the head works every time and will kill him with relative ease. At least on the lower, especially on the lower difficulties. Alright, so we got a few more enemies spawning down here. We'll kill both of them. And I know we're going to have a defensive portion in this area, so we're going to have to be careful about that. Alright, I'll do it. Whatever. Oh, hello. You just, uh, like, spawn in down there, I guess. Alright, we got that. And we got a ship control. That's always a good thing. Let's see if I can kick you off from here. Uh, where are you sitting at? Yeah, I think I got him. Sufficiently popped a few heads. Alright, seems like we are in the correct place. Okay, let's establish our connection and see what we can do. Oh, that's a lot of ships. Ooh, okay, well, that's really not good. Uh, but he can't engage this one. You know what? Can I... No, that's not going to work. Okay, you are going to go engage this ship. All right? Because that's going to make life easier for me. And you are going to get Torpedo Upgrade, and you are going to use this to kill one of those submarines quickly. Or probably miss every single shot, so... One or the other. You never know which one. One or the other. I mean, I think I'll... I should have it. Or, no, I don't think I'm going to have it unless my torpedoes start hitting. Oh, it's going to be close. Got it, just barely. Last possible second. Alright, I'll take it. That's a kill. I'll take it. So he cleared that, and he's got three more, but this one's going to come and help, so we should be okay. We just got that one ship in the support position that's going to be kind of a douchebag right now. Because there's really no way we can get past him. And a kill. Oh, that's quite a few enemies up here. Grenade. That was a terrible throw. That was a horrible throw. Okay. Yeah, there's a few different types of enemy ships as well. The above ground and the below ground and maybe one other type, but that's about it for them. They're pretty simple overall. All pretty much the same thing, just different depths of attack. Okay, this is really bad. Uh, okay, I didn't think I was that red right there, and I was hitting the R1, as you guys probably heard. I got a little bit confused right there. I didn't think there were going to be that many enemies on all sides. Yeah, I am not playing this well. I guess that my, I think my adrenaline's starting to wear off a little bit, and I'm just exhausted because first four videos were all recorded in the same day, and uh, it was a very exhausting day because I had to get up at 5:45 in the morning for work today, and it was like a nine-hour day. I worked with like a local nonprofit where I live, so they had a field trip today for all the kids at that brought at that that they work with so oh it was a it was a long day we'll just say that it's been a good job and all but just uh sometimes it gets a little bit exhausting you know and even when i'm out working in the really real world once i'm out of college i really highly doubt i'll be working at a job where i need to get up at six in the morning every day Hopefully not. If so, that's going to be a bit tough to get used to. I'm sure I will eventually, but it's going to be a bit tough to get used to at first. Okay, let's give this one a ship control, but for some reason it, like, took all of my upgrades and stuff. Or, uh, I mean, we just didn't get as many this time is what I mean, so. All right, that time he went down a lot faster. We him down with, like, nine seconds to spare.
Okay, let's try not to fail this as much, or I will try not to fail this as much. You guys probably are not failing it this much, because you are probably much better at video games than I am. At least some games, maybe not all games. Okay, he's dead on you, ship control. God, some of them are not dying that quickly. I mean, I'd like to use some of the support. You know what? We gotta. We should do that. Use some support attacks. This one has a lot of like range, so run away from that because I think that should hit a few of them. Uh, I think that killed a couple of them, probably. Maybe he got some on the upper level too. Yeah, oh crap, there's still... What shot at me there? I didn't even see anything. I think we're kind of okay right here. Uh, nothing over there. Okay, we're okay. That was actually a good hit. One more enemy, got him. I see a new enemy up there. Oh crap, uh, oh, no, no, don't run right into the peg bomb. Oh, I've done that before and that's always a bad thing. Okay, going into this mode, obviously, like I've said before, pauses the game. Uh, he'll take out that one. They should be fine, actually. Uh, we will... I hope I didn't just waste that on him, because I don't know, does he have... Okay, he does have missiles. I just wanted to make sure on that one. You know what? Uh... You know what? Let's just give him full missiles. Makes more sense. And the repair. And I will give you ship control again. Like I said, though, the vehicles do seem to spawn infinitely, so... Just tap the buttons as quickly as you can and hope you take them out, and we got him. Man, he went down fast. All right, then. So that's another vehicle killed, so he'll take care of that one. Actually, they both should together, so that should actually be fine. And they can still give us the most useless support item, or one of them can. And we gotta go up there and destroy that. We will head over to that in just a second. Just clearing out the area, making sure no enemy is gonna spawn up a butthole. Chesapeake is locked and loaded. Got that. And good. So, next up is a defensive portion. Hooray! Everyone loves defensive missions. I already followed you up here. Why do you think I'm up here faster than you? How much one of those ships end up getting destroyed, though? Yeah, we see it. Can you go ahead and start hacking this thing? Thank you. What in the hell? It's an Aryan. All right, we're not going to go into that discussion again. I'll... I don't know. I'm too lazy to go into a discussion like that again. Okay, we'll let him use that first. And then I will launch this. Hopefully keep him stunned. And I only probably killed one or two total out of all that. Because now they're going the other way. Uh, that thing is basically like a little device that'll come down and shock anything that gets near it. Like this thing. Thug? Oh, wow, that was actually really good timing because it hit the thug. But the aliens will always attack it very quickly and usually destroy it very quickly, so I don't find it to be that useful. It doesn't have a whole lot of health usually, so you do have to be a bit careful with it. But it's, I mean, it, I guess it's a decent thing to have just for emergencies, so. Okay, Captain Sully here seems to still have plenty of health. Are you Captain Sully, or are you Victor Sullivan from Uncharted? The world will never know, because you're a random NPC in a random video game that very few people probably ever wasted their money on. Except for me, because I wasted my money on it. I wasted probably about $7 on this when I bought it off of Gamefly. I think that's where I bought it. I can't even remember if I bought this one off of Gamefly, or if I bought this one off of Amazon. I want to say Gamefly, but I honestly have no idea. Because it was in my backlog for a while before I actually got around to playing it. Oh, hello there. I mean, as long as you have a shotgun, the thugs are not really that big of a threat. As long as you know where they are, are going to spawn at. But 
Regardless, they can be a bit annoying at times, you know, they can be a bit dangerous to kill. And that ammo box, I think refill. Yeah, refill a little bit of ammo. Alright, we only got about 10 more seconds, so we're fine. He can't die now. Well done. Now get to the landing area for exit. Ooh, new ship available. The USS Missouri is in trouble, and you're the closest asset. Get moving. Reagan, out. Hell yeah, man. Oh, the USS Missouri. That thing is powerful. It is the best ship of the five in the game by far. It is very, very powerful. It has a bunch of, like, really big guns on it. That's what makes it so good. Uh, let's see if it's actually... I don't think it's actually here, though, because that's the Yukon. Yeah, that's a different one. Okay, I don't even know why I'm going to waste my time on that. So, you would get a trophy, by the way, in this mission if you get a ship to occupy each of the three support positions. Because there are three support positions, and you have to occupy all three of them for a trophy. It's the only level, fully level-specific trophy in the game, so... Just thought I'd point that out for you guys. Do what like I did there, but as soon as you get down here, you will end the mission. But so we're going to end the mission because I've already done this before. Took a bit longer than I expected. I mean, I died there, which is probably part of the reason why, but it still took longer than I expected. But that's okay, you know. Now we're all caught up. Four videos for the first three missions. That's not too bad. The fourth mission will be one video. The legendary battleship USS Missouri is offshore there and in peril. She spent all her armaments, and alien ships have her surrounded. Rally the fleet around her to render immediate assistance. We lose the mighty Mo, we lose any chance we have of repelling the aliens. Save her at all costs. Our forces on the island have been rooted. The aliens have overrun Kamakani Airfield, which was repurposed for naval supply operations. We must retake it so the Missouri can rearm. We lose that airfield, we lose this war. All right, then. Sounds pretty serious. Next time, we will tackle the fourth mission of the game. So, see you guys then.